you got to love what you do, right? Driving series episode number two. I received so much positive feedback on the first episode. Glad you enjoyed this driving series as much as I do. Today, we are going to drive to one of the neighborhoods you requested. And yes, I will be getting to your requested neighborhoods one by one in the upcoming episode. So if there's any area you want to see, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below. All right, we will be heading to the VMC, Vaughan Metropolitan Center. Coincidentally, an excellent investment project in the heart of VMC will be launching very soon. So I will show you the location of that as well. Some of you also wanted to see a little bit more of this car. So I will share a fun fact of this car with you at the end of the video. Ready? Let's go. We are now driving west on Highway 407. See those skyscrapers on our right hand side? That's the Vaughan Metropolitan Center taking shape. The Expo City is on the east end of the VMC. The Transit City is right in the heart of VMC because that's where the subway entrance and the bus terminal are located. We are going to take the Jane Street exit. Highway 407 subway station. Turning around to the northwest corner of Jane and 407. The constructions here are all part of Mangus Mobilio site. The very first phase of Mangus South VMC master plan. The site will have both condos and townhouses. IKEA will be staying here for as far as we know. We are now driving north towards Highway 7 and you can see the Transit City Towers sitting on the north side of Highway 7. Turning into Interchangeway. This street is the center of the South VMC plan. The right side of Interchangeway will be developed by a few different developers and the left side will mainly be developed by Mancus. After the Mobilio site on the south side of the plan, Mancus launched the Grand Festival site earlier this year. The site will have four towers up on Highway 7. As you can see here, the site is all ready for construction to start. We are now crossing Highway 7 to the north side of BMC. The north side is all owned by smart centers. One of the biggest features of the plan is a 9-acre central park. It is going to start from our right-hand side, just off of the KPMG's building, and span all the way across to the west. As we turn into Apple Mill Road, I want to tell you about this parking lot right across the future Central Park. The site is called the Art Walk. It is going to have three condos, a high rise, a mid rise, and a boutique condo. The three buildings will share a very nice courtyard with cafes. The theme of this site is going to be all about lifestyle. So you will see bigger unit choices with large outdoor spaces. Let me show you what's already been built in this area. The KPMG office tower is fully operational and has direct access to the subway. The PMC office tower is fully operational as well. A 77,000 square foot YMCA that will be opening very soon. The Transit City 1, 2 and 3 condo towers have been occupied since last year. We have the bus terminal here. It's also directly connected to the subway. Transit City 4 and 5 are under construction over there. Let's turn right here and you can immediately see the subway station. It's been open since December 2017 and it only takes 35 minutes to get to downtown. You see, the new art walk site has an excellent location, right in the center of the master plan across from the Central Park and 
only a three minutes walk from the subway station. Artwork will be available for sale in about a week or so. I took a peek at the floor plans and pricing and they are very, very attractive. If you want to invest in VMC, you should schedule a call with me now so you get ahead of the game. That's the Viva bus terminal on Highway 7. It's also connected to the subway by an underground pathway. That's the beauty of a modern master plan. Everything is well planned and connected. We are going to turn left and drive east on Highway 7. That's the Expo City in front of us, on the northeast corner of Jane Highway 7. It's still part of the VMC, but it's a little further away from the subway and the heart of the developments. There's also a new pre-construction site called the Vincent, across from the Expo City. And this concludes our tour of the VMC. A lot of car enthusiasts want me to talk about this car. So here we go. This car is a 24 years old classic Porsche 911 C2S. This is the last generation of air-cooled engines from Porsche. It has no ABS, no traction control. It didn't even have a cup holder because Porsche wanted us to enjoy 100% of the driving experience. The original car stereo from 1997 was boring. No Bluetooth, no navigation, and certainly no hands-free call. Due to request from car enthusiast community, Porsche put in resources to develop a new Porsche Classic communication management to fit into any Porsche being built since 1967. I do not know if any other car makers cares to do any development on any already stopped production cars. Pretty cool modern technology and classic crossover. 